Welcome to St Mary's Stadium as this afternoon Saints will be taking on Dutch champions Ajax in a pre-season friendly as Nigel Atkins' men look to maintain their current winning form. Today will be the first time Saints have played since returning from their training camp in Evian and the last time there was any action here at St Mary's was two weeks ago in the Marcus Lieber Memorial Cup. The round robin style tournament got underway with Saints versus Anderlecht. The Belgian champions edged out a 1 0 win thanks to a goal from Tom de Sutter, who was fortunate enough to mop up his own rebound. It was role reversal for Anderlecht, who were on the end of a 1 0 loss against Arsenal. A strong run from Carl Jenkinson set up Henry Lansbury, who finished at the near post. The stage was set for a finale between Saints and Arsenal. Saints took the lead through Jay Rodriguez who latched onto a Danny Fox cross but the lead was short-lived as Arsenal hit back through Jovino minutes later. The match ended 1-0 and Arsenal were crowned winners of the Marcus Lieber Memorial Cup. The Memorial Cup was just the first of seven pre-season matches for Saints and the right preparation is the key to success. There's one man that knows that more than anyone else and that's the manager, Nigel Adkins. Yeah, we've had a ball out from day one and even before we went away we had some uh, two very good games against Anderlecht and Arsenal. Uh, and again, it's our progression of building up to the Premier League campaign. The big thing is we want all the players to get through the pre-season campaign in one piece to make sure that they've had a, a good base of fitness to start off with, an understanding of how we're playing, a good feel of the new footballs that we've got this year, Premier League footballs. Um, so the lads have uh, acquitted themselves very well with that at the moment because we want to be a passing team, we want to be able to get the ball and move it around and uh, the lads have done that very well up to now. I mean, to the layman, it sounds strange that professional footballers would need to get used to a new football, but that, that is, I suppose, a, one of the small technical challenges they will face. Yeah, well, by the looks of it, the, the new balls are quite good, a lot true, far better for the goalkeeper. They don't seem to be swerving all over the place. There seems to be like a bit more of a rubber coating on them. So you can, where the ball's fizzed in, it can bounce off you quite a lot. So you've got to get you uh, accustomed to that. And the lads have done that very well, very quickly. Even in March, April, May last season, you were talking about the benefit of pre-season and how much that set you up for the season. It's obviously something you place a big emphasis on. Very much so. I think we proof was in the pudding last season. And obviously, the um, the experience that we've had over many, many years of our 31st pre-season. This was a um, reminder of the lads um, when we were away last week. 31 pre-seasons is a lot. So you get you, you gain a lot of experience from different, you know, being a player, being a physio, being a coach, being a manager, all the different aspects of it. So you've sat in many people's different, uh, you've got many different hats on if you like, uh, so you can see things from different perspectives of uh, getting through that. But the big thing is if we can get everybody through a, a pre-season programme, that sets them up very well for the rest of the season. Remember, you can watch the full interview exclusively on Saints Player. Now, earlier this week, a Saints 11 team took on Exeter City. And just to add a little spice to the occasion, Former Grecians captain Dan Seaborn was named in the starting lineup. Two crosses from Ryan Dixon meant two goals for Saints. The first was off the head of Lloyd Isgrove. The second could have been his as well, but it was turned in by captain Lee Barnard. It all looked to be said and done, but Exeter nicked one back near the end. The final score, Exeter 1, Saints 2. That's all from today's Match Day show and remember you can catch all of the post-match reaction on Saints Player.